Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Pixum. If you have a thing for grandeur and luxury, you have come to the right place. At Pixum, we make sure to fulfill your wanderlust for luxurious mansions. We might not have traveled around the world, but we have surely traveled around Los Angeles a lot. And why wouldn't we? It's filled with beautiful architecture and luxurious mansions. The neighborhoods are a safe place for the people who live there and the community is strong and lovely. One such neighborhood is Brentwood. It's tucked between Bel Air, Westwood, and Pacific Palisades. Like all the neighboring places, Brentwood is also a scenic and relaxing place to live. It is known for having pristine tree-lined sidewalks, great amenities, and parks. Brentwood is also famous for the unique architecture of its buildings and mansions. Today, we will take you on a tour of a yacht-like mansion that is worth $36 million. An interesting fact about this mansion is that it is currently owned by Travis Scott, the famous rapper and sneaker tycoon. Let's ride the wave and tour this $36 million mansion. Inside the $36 million mansion. Resting beautifully in the Brentwood Hills, this $36 million mansion was designed and built by the father-daughter duo of DeLorean and Associates. I have to say, they did a wonderful job of keeping our eyes hooked on this enormous mansion. The mansion spreads over one acre of land and offers 16,700 square feet of living space. It is designed in an ultra-contemporary way. The architecture wraps around the hill in smooth curvaceous sheet metal that is meant to resemble a yacht. Just from the outside, this mansion exudes luxury and grandiosity. Apart from the normal items that a house contains, this mansion boasts every amenity that you can think of, and some more that you probably didn't think of as well. Residing on the hilltop, the mansion offers an unparalleled view of the Los Angeles skyline and the panoramic view of the ocean below. You can stand on one of the balconies and look down upon the ordinary life underneath you, although we don't recommend doing that. The Colossal Estate is a single-family type residence that is comprised of 7 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms across 3 levels. The steeped driveway leads us from the underground garage that could hold more than 20 cars to the rooftop car park. Driving upwards from the street, the entryway opens into the main level. It contains a spacious indoor and ginormous outdoor space. The Main Level the indoor space of the main level is really just one great big room that consists of living rooms, dining rooms, and a state-of-the-art kitchen. Stepping into the room, the first thing we set eyes on is a floor-to-ceiling walnut sculpture. This splendid sculpture is designed by the famous Japanese carpenter Toshi Kawabata. Two other sculptures designed by him are also around the house. Opposite to this sculpture is the green wall. It's not only pleasing to look at, but also beneficial to the environment. The green wall acts as a natural air purifier. Beyond these walls is the Great Room. It is a spacious room that hosts many sitting areas. It also has a wet bar, in front of which stands another walnut sculpture made by the famous carpenter. Imagine throwing a party in here. The pad definitely calls for it. The sunlight filters into the great room through the floor-to-ceiling glass windows. The windows also offer a scenic view of the beautiful hills and ocean outside. The great room is decorated with various pieces of furniture. The sitting spaces have plush sofas that are just too relaxing. The stone fireplace gives the room a homey vibe. One interesting fact about the great room, all marble pieces are hand-picked and imported from Italy. Adjacent to the great room is the kitchen. The kitchen features black marble countertops that blend well with the overall black theme. It is also home to many luxurious utensils and appliances. And by luxurious, I of course mean expensive. The interior is definitely awe-inspiring, but the outdoor space will make you jump up and down with giddiness. It is the perfect party space or a mini resort if you just want to chill and relax. The outdoor area hosts multiple lounges and a patio. It is surrounded by a 10,000 square foot garden with beautiful greenery that is relaxing to look at. But if that isn't enough, you can always go for a swim in the infinity pool and relax your muscles. If you want to have a pool party, you can have that too. No need to worry about the music, the pool has a killer underwater sound system. Cool, isn't it? Money really can buy you everything. 
the pool is lined by some of the comfiest sunbeds you could ever wish for. On a beautiful sunny day, you can lie on one of these beds with a book in your hand and let the sun do its magic. We all know a mansion like this will have some of the most luxurious amenities that we could only dream of. So, where are they? Well, my friends, there is a whole level just for that. The Lower Level The lower level of the mansion is designed to boast any and all the amenities one could think of. The spiral staircase leads to an open space sitting area consisting of white couches and a center table. If you move further in, you'll find yourself standing in front of a home theater. The home theater has a widescreen LED mounted on one wall and lines of comfy chairs placed in front of it. If you find yourself bored with all the other possible activities here, you can hold a screening of your favorite movie in this room. A home theater means that you're probably going to become a couch potato. I guess that's why the gym is so close to the theater. Just walk to the next room and you will enter the gym. It has all the machines necessary for staying fit and healthy. The lower level also has one other space that we can't get enough of, a sauna. The gym is going to make your muscles sore, so it's a good thing that the sauna is there to help them relax. A perfect combination. Like the rest of the floors, the lower level has a patio. And just like the rest of the floors, it offers a mesmerizing view. We really can't emphasize the amazing views this mansion has enough. Apart from the sauna and the gym, this space also has a rec room. There's a pool table, a wine cellar, and a gaming space. It also has a game of table tennis. This is an entertainer's dream. Of course, with elegant mirrors lining the walls and expensive but cozy chairs spread across the room, it is anything but humble. The Upper Level The upper level of the estate is a penthouse that is connected to the rest of the levels through a spiral staircase. And if you are tired from walking around this gigantic mansion or lounging around the pool, you can just take one of the two elevators up to the upper level. And yes, I did just say two elevators. Apparently, having one is just too mainstream and boring. The penthouse has two junior suites and multiple bathrooms. It also has a huge master bedroom. The master suite is built and designed to resemble a room at a seven-star resort. It has dual closets, a spa-style bath, and a balcony with views stretching across all of Los Angeles. If this was my bedroom, I would never leave it. Forget about the infinity pool and all the other amenities, I'm staying in this heaven-like suite forever. The master suite also has a sitting area that is decorated with a lovely sofa set and a coffee table. Even the sitting area offers a great view of the gardens surrounding the mansion and the city life. Adding to the charm of the penthouse are many art pieces and plants that are probably worth more than my yearly income. Even at night, the mansion offers a great view, and it also looks marvelous itself. The gardens, the infinity pool, the waterfall, and the twinkling lights of the mansion make it look ethereal. By just seeing this mansion, you can expect a big price tag on it, and that $36 million tag proves it. This one-of-a-kind yacht-looking mansion having every amenity is designed to perfection. It looks less like a home and more like a vacation destination. Even a virtual tour of the estate makes me think that I have just come back from vacationing at an extraordinary resort. Be sure to leave a comment and let us know what you think about this grand mansion. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with a tour of another mansion next time. Until then, goodbye.